Hello and welcome to Viking Views. I'm Nina Wu. With recent reports of an attempted robbery on campus and the national news of domestic violence, Missouri Valley College wants to speak out and bring attention to these topics. Viking Views will Lee has more about what MVC is doing to help such issues. According to Rain, the rape, abuse, and incest national record. In 2013, every two minutes someone is raped in America. That's 237,868 victims of sexual assault each year. 40% of victims are under the age of 18, and 80% are under the age of 30. 60% of rapes are not reported to the police, with 97% of rapists never spending a day in jail. One in four women will experience sexual assault during their life on college campus. These facts are startling. This is why Director of Counseling Teresa Chizelski felt the need to bring light to such a dark topic. Melody Smith contacted me and said she'd like to do a collaboration on a presentation and we just discussed like domestic violence and such and because of reading all the articles about you know college and rapes and everything else like that I said well great that would be a great thing if we can tune more towards the dating and more like kind of college and such and I wanted to try to also make it kind of fun and entertaining because I know it's you know Everyone is very negative, and that's one thing that Melody says that, you know, she wanted to try to make something more positive, and so that's why we wanted to go with the idea of consent, an enthusiastic yes. 1995, the Lighthouse Shelter was founded. It hopes to assist victims of domestic and sexual violence. Mandy Scholl is a recent graduate of MVC and has been working there since. She helps men, women, and children on a daily basis to help them get back on their feet. I was really happy when Teresa and Melody invited me, well, the Lighthouse Shelter, to come speak to these, the college age students. Um, last year we served, you know, typically the college age, the typical college students between 18 and 24, and last year we served 10 girls of that age, um, and teaching them to be empower, empower themselves, you know, because in the end, they're the ones that have to make the decisions, you know, and it's not just for the victims, but for someone who could be a potential abuser as well. The counseling office is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., or earlier by appointment with Chiselski. The Lighthouse Shelter is located just west of the square and has a 24-hour crisis number in times of need. Will Lee, Viking Views. For more information about the presentation and the domestic violence, contact Teresa Chiselski at chiselski at t at marvel.edu. Missouri Valley College goes to London this summer with a study abroad program. Viking Views Shelby Hansaka has more on the story. College offers many different study abroad programs, but is now offering a one-month summer trip that gives students a chance to explore different cultures as well as receiving college credit. We will travel first to London and be in London for the bulk of the time, and then we will spend about three days in Paris. Um, the, the, uh, objective of the trip is to get students to have an international experience and to uh, learn about another culture in a very hands-on way. I have a, there's a scholarship through the honors program that I can receive to help pay for study abroad so I mean I figured why not take advantage of it and kind of broaden my horizons a little bit and go to a foreign country that I've never been to. This is one of the first trips to be taken through the Education First program giving students a chance to get an international experience without taking up their whole summer. Currently, there are nine people enrolled in the study abroad program. The international experience is a really um, wonderful part of uh, a college education. If you can do that, uh, I think that you would go to any school, they would recommend that you have an international experience. I've really been a lot of places because all through high school, like I was just, you know, playing sports and I was just busy and didn't get to go many places. So I just want to, I want to go experience new cultures and meet new people and just figure out like what else there is in the world besides Missouri. Missouri Valley College Study Abroad Program is offered to friends, family, and anyone who is looking to have a new adventure. Shelby Hunsaker, Viking Views. The Missouri Valley Study Abroad students head to London after graduation in May and return in the beginning of June. The Viking Shop service that people used to know as Valley Rides offers transportation for students who need a ride. If you do not feel like walking to Walmart, Valley is here to help you out. 
The NVC Student Affairs Office offers free rides throughout the town every Wednesday and Sunday. You know, we're just trying to give people ways to get around if they don't have a vehicle, and especially with um, you know a lot of students from far away, whether it be across the country or around the world. Um, I think it's really helped people. The Valley Shuttles, also known as Valley Rides, used to only take students to the airport. By starts running throughout different locations in Marshall since fall 2014 semester. The destination includes Walmart, the post office, the hospital, and any location that students prefer to go. So the one around town is free. Um, so anybody who needs to run out to Walmart or just around town, um, uh, it's completely free. And we also do provide if someone needs to get to the doctor for some reason or needs to get out to the hospital, we drive them any day of the week as well. MVC students feel the Viking Shuttles is one of the greatest things that Valley offered for its students. Shuttle is great because mainly for us international students, we don't have a car. So when you need to get to Walmart, we don't bother our friends who have cars. Um, and we'd love to uh, you know, be able to provide even more transportation to the airport, to the train station as needed for people. MVC will continue to work on new program and to meet students' needs. Students wanting more information about the Viking Shadow can contact Brad Fuchs in the Student Affairs Office or on the Student Affairs page at mobile.edu. Ever since Ashley Scott was five years old, she has played basketball. Viking Views' Nala Lawrence has a story on how basketball is more than just a game for Scott. It's her release from dealing with the pressures of life. Scott's mother had a full ride for softball to the University of Oregon, but gave it all up when she became pregnant with Scott. When Scott was 16, her mother contracted HIV from her partner and has been on medications and in and out of the hospital since. The gym is where Scott goes when she needs to escape. My mom, she's a lot of the reason why I like to get in the gym. I mean, both my parents are. Like, I like to feel connected with my dad when I'm in the gym. But more than anything, like, I'm sitting in the gym working out. I just try to think of the worst situation and how I have to make it a positive situation working out. So I try to go as hard and do my best as possible to get better. And it's like, as I like to think of it as if she's, if I'm getting better, then she's getting better. So it's just like, we both kind of have the same thing. My father, he's been in and out of my life my whole life. When I come to the gym, I like to imagine that he's there, get my rebounds, passing the ball out to me. Then I just sit here in the quiet gym and just think as if he's here or not. I feel like me and him are some type of connected when I'm in the gym, even though he could be locked up or miles away. I still feel some type of connection with him. I step into a gym, like everything else changes. It's just me and the basketball and focusing and getting better. This ball is it's, it's my life. Like, this little round thing you think it's just a little something. Just a ball. It's literally like my stress, believe me. Sky's biggest goal is to make sure that she gets her degree. Not just for herself, but for her mother. For sacrificing her degree for her life. Nayla Lawrence, Viking Views. Scott plans to continue her release on the basketball court next semester. Missouri Valley celebrates its four sports seniors. The Viking Sports Update is next. Valley College asking five financial questions and five pop culture questions. Come on, let's take a look and see what type of answers we get. What is a student loan default? I have no idea. I cannot tell you. I'll take uh, outside loans. Okay, why did Amber Rose call it quits with Wiz Khalifa? He cheated on her. What is your credit score? I don't have one. I don't have credit. You don't? No. Hey, welcome back to Viking Views. I am Alex Misi with your Viking Sports Update. November appeared in Marshall in the form of a cold, windy day. The fall Missouri Valley College sports teams kept their fans warm during the last regular season home game. We start with football, as the Vikings hosted Grayson University. The first quarter got off to a rocky start as the Vikings had two turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions, 
Following the second turnover, momentum shifted when linebacker Dario Marquez intercepted a Grayson pass on the goal line. Defenses held tough in the second quarter as the score was 6 to nothing with 12 minutes to go in the first half. On the Vikings' next possession, they got on the board. Quarterback Bruce Reyes hit Mikel Johnson for a 56-yard completion, giving MVC first and goal from the Graceline two-yard line. Three plays later, running back Elliot Hawkins capped off a five-play 75-yard drive with a one-yard touchdown. The Vikings led 7-6 with 10.30 to play in the first half. On the ensuing Grayson possession, the Valley defense stepped up again. This time, cornerback Byron Everett intercepted a pass and took it 40 yards for the score to close the half. Grayson attempted a 62-yard field goal. The kick was wide right and fell short. And Joel Davis caught the attempt in the back of the end zone. In shades of the kick six, Auburn return against Alabama in 2013. Davis returned the attempt 100 yards to give Valley a 21-6 lead at the half. To start the third quarter, Valley picked up where it left off when Reyes found Nigel Dahl for a 14-yard touchdown reception, giving Valley a 27-6 lead. Late in the third quarter, Darius Adams hit Davis for a 28-yard touchdown, extending the lead to 34-6. Midway through the fourth quarter, the Vikings went 89 yards in just one play. When quarterback Zach Dorton connected with Dorian Stenard, Valley went on to win the game by a score of 47-16. Senior Day is a time of recognition and celebration. For time and effort, the senior student athletes dedicate to NBC. Viking Views' Will Lee reports on one senior's effort of helping the Vikings win their last regular season home game. The Vikings face Graceland University on Saturday, but with a slow start to the game, Graceland University had a 6-0 lead with 12 minutes before the half. But with strong plays from the Vikings, this brings NBC back into contention. Senior Darrell Davis had a 100-yard run that changed the tone of the game giving the Vikings a 21-6 lead at halftime. It's great. I mean, there's nothing much you can want, but besides that, I mean, we came out a little slow, but to get that win at the last home game, I mean, as a senior, it's crazy. The, the year's flying, and nothing bigger than this. But all right, I mean, I didn't do exactly what I want to do, but I mean, for the most part, I just try to help the team as much as I can contribute in any way. Davis has had a successful two-year career at MVC, leading the Vikings to multiple wins with leadership on and off the field. The seniors keep their eye on the prize in hopes of winning their fourth straight conference title. Valley is tied with Mid-America Nazarene for the conference lead, and the Vikings close the season with two road games, the first of which is against Evangel. The evening doubleheader on Greg Mitchell Field featured Missouri Valley College soccer teams taking on Culver Stockton. The women's game had playoff seating implications as the Vikings were playing for a first round bye. The Lady Vikings got into the scoring column early when Haley Ennis found Riley Kerr for a score just three minutes into the match. At the 11-minute mark, Ennis, Ennis recorded a goal of her own, giving Valley a 2-0 lead. With the goal and the assist, Ennis had three early points. Eight minutes later, the Vikings increased the lead to three when Andrea Garcia assisted Michelle Plowman. In the 26th minute, the roles reversed when Ennis scored her second goal of the match off of a Kerr assist. The Lady Vikings went into halftime with a 4-0 lead. In the second half, they added another score when Ennis recording her third goal, giving her the hat trick and a career-high seven points. The Lady Vikings finished their regular season with a 5-0 win. To finish off senior day at Missouri Valley College, the eighth-ranked men's soccer team put its nine-game winning streak to the test in the final event of senior day. The Vikings had two shots on goal hit off the crossbar just minutes into the game, but finally they were able to break the scoreless tie when Juan Carlos Harris scored in the 16th minute. At the 37th minute mark, Bernardo Diaz assisted George Lindbergh to give Valley a 2-0 lead at halftime. The Vikings kept constant pressure on the Corpus Stockton goalie, but nothing came of it until a late second half goal gave Valley a 3-0 win. After already clinching the regular season conference title, the Vikings clinched the number one seed in the conference tournament as well. In a game that finally wasn't outside in the frigid weather, the Lady Vikings volleyball team hosted Harris Stowe. The Vikings hopped out to an early 5-1 lead in the first set and never looked back. Valley finished the game on a 7-3 run, giving them a 25-10 win in set one. Set two was tight with a score of 17-13 midway through the match. But Valley won eight of the last 10 points, giving them a 25-15 win. 
Going for the sweep in set three, Valley built a nine to six lead. Harris still won on a rally and won eight of the next 10 points, giving it a 14 to 12 lead. Valley won on a 9-0 run and eventually won the set. 25 to 17. The Lady Vikings are in action Tuesday at Burns Gymnasium in a do or die game to get into the conference tournament. This has been your Viking Sports Update. I'm Alex Meesey. Thanks, Alex. Some offices on the Missouri Valley College campus celebrate Halloween and have candy for trick or treating students, both young and old. But some international Missouri Valley students celebrate Halloween in a different way. That's next on Viking Views. Missouri Valley College, located in Marshall, Missouri, is a home to roughly 1,500 students with small sized classrooms and an educationally friendly environment. Valley prepares students to succeed. Valley is a private, career-oriented college that will help students like you get prepared for the real world. It's time you plan for your future and become a part of the Missouri Valley College experience. So apply now at moval.edu and become a part of the Viking family today. Candies and costumes are traditional for Halloween. One specific group in buying these items for a different reason. Viking Views Christina Bautista reports on a Mexican version of Halloween and what makes this day so significant. All Saints Day is a Catholic holiday that celebrates the Catholic Saint. In Mexico, however, there is a different twist added to the holiday. This holiday is called Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Um, it is an opportunity for us to remember all those people who have supported us and held us up who now are in heaven. Halloween is not celebrated in Mexico. Instead, they celebrate the Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead celebrates the passing of the dead and for just one night, the spirits can walk on the earth and party. Candies, tequila, and food is given out as offerings to the passing spirits. You're celebrating someone who's dead already, but not dead in a way. Like they're still alive. That's touching. New generations still do it. They show respect. They do, you know, all this dress up, costume, and just dances, you know, just to show respect for the dead. A prayer is usually said before the offerings are given. A shrine is put out for the spirit, and then the parties begin. The parties last all night in hopes to spot the passing spirits wandering the earth. And we left bowls of. Um, I don't know, beans, a pozole, or something on the graves. And I thought that was really amazing. And I said, Mom, are they going to come and eat this, really? She said, maybe. <laughs> Day of the Dead is meant to bring peace and comfort to families who have lost loved ones. It is a special and festive holiday that strongly imprints the Mexican culture. Cristina Bautista, Viking Views. Valley held a mass at noon in the chapel on Sunday to pray for the lost souls. That's Viking Views for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Nina Wu.